With me, Congresswoman Terry Sewell, Democrat from the great state of Alabama who serves on the House Intelligence Committee and was inside that closed-door House Intelligence Committee meeting with Chairman Nunes today. Good evening. Good evening, Greta. As soon as the chairman said he was sorry, the first question I would have said is, well, what happened? Where did you get that information and what is it? Did anyone ask those two questions? Yes, our ranking member, um, he is uh, obviously doesn't hold his tongue, so he definitely asked those questions. And I have to tell you, Greta, did he get an answer? I've this, uh, he apologized. But I mean, did he, um, he say, did he say where he got this information and what the information is? I mean, it's, I just get this sort of vague apology. They raced down to the White House and and said this, had a press conference, and he comes back and he says to you all, "I'm sorry," behind closed doors, and the rest of us just saying, "What happened?" Exactly. So what we did get from him is uh, that he, we would find out where he got the information and get a chance to review the information at some point. So it was deeply disturbing to me as well because it goes to the very heart of the integrity of our investigation. The American people deserve better. I mean, they want to know what's going on with the Russian and, investigation and they deserve better. Well, we said at some point, the next question I would have had is, a, what is that at some point and why not now? Did anyone ask those two questions? No one asked it exactly like that, Greta, but people did um, question as to when we would be uh, getting that, um, the, that, those materials. And we didn't get a definitive answer. But you know, I have to tell you, it's really disturbing that um, the American people deserve to have answers and the credibility, uh, both the credibility of my chairman, but the credibility of our underlying investigation has definitely been compromised by this. I think now more than ever, we do need an independent um, commission. The, we, we need something that's, we need someone, who, we need actually a body that is actually and, not partisan. And, I've already, um, and I keep nominating Professor Alan Dershowitz for it every night, but, but, um, but here's what I don't get. Here's the, I'm just trying to piece it together from the outside. I don't get to go behind those closed doors. He said that it has nothing to do with Russia and has something to do with the transition team and that somebody was picked up. I got those. And I think to myself, okay, um, Congressman Nunes was on the transition team. You know, what, was he the one who was picked up? Is he, is he running off to the White House saying, you know, look what happened to me? I mean, so, I mean, and I don't know, I don't want to be suspicious of, of Congressman Nunes, but what was the conversation? I know that Congressman Nunes was instrumental in naming Secretary of Defense Mattis to the job, but I mean, it's like we get the, you know, we're suspicious because we're not getting any information, just a lot of really weird stuff going on. You're exactly right. The public deserves to have more, and all we're do getting is compromising information and confusion, which is, I think, the reason why uh, it's not enough to have the two committees uh, in the House and the Senate but, but, do the investigation. We need that, an independent. But doesn't that disturb you? I mean, doesn't it? Because we send people to Washington to do a job, and one of the job would be to do oversight and to figure out what happened. Then you all can't get along. You do, then we got a Republican chairman running down to the White House and then holding a press conference. We get half the information. You all run behind closed doors. We don't know what's going on. We don't get answers to any of these questions. The next thing we know is that we're paying for an independent counsel to do this because you all can't get along. Well, I think that just as we did in the 9-11 with the 9-11 Commission, I'm not trying to abscond our oversight um, obligations and responsibilities. We can't and we should not run away from that, but I don't think it's enough. I think that uh, the American public deserves to have transparency. Everything you're telling me is exactly the confusion, the anger, uh, the, the mystery behind what we're doing behind closed doors. Uh, the American public feels that way and they deserve transparency. So I'm not saying at all that we should abs you know, abscond our own oversight oversight responsibilities. What I'm saying is, in addition, we really do need an independent, impartial commission doing this work with a full-time staff. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all Congress people. We're in charge of making sure our 750,000 uh, constituents are doing with, you know, getting their services met and getting their federal needs met. And so I, I just think that it's, we need more. And, and I have to tell you, and I just want to say, I just want to say two, two things is that number one sure. is I really appreciate what you're saying. You get my angst only because you were kind enough to show up. And you're, yeah. you're even in a minority party on this. I'm, I'm asking, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a majority party here that's an, annoying me on this. And I really appreciate you showing up. And I also agree with you that it's time for an independent commission. And I will put on that plug for Alan Dershowitz because he's, he's retired <laughs> and he goes after both sides equally. And I've he been went up to my against him. I, I, you know, I went to my, he went to my law school well, as well. Well, then nominate him, suggest him. He's got, he's retired. He needs have something to do and he'll go after everybody equally anyway congresswoman i hope you come back thank you thank you thank you very much Greta. hey there i'm chris hayes from msnbc thanks for watching msnbc on youtube if you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos